Um, we got a sand flusher. Um, it gets the sand and sediment out of your pivot. Um, it works off of water pressure, so it's a normally open valve. Okay. You just turn your pivot on, and it pressurizes. And once it's pressurized, it shuts. Then you shut. And when you shut your pivot off, um, it opens back up again. So every start and stop, you get a flush. How, how did you come up with this idea? How, how did this come about? Um, it was 2011. I was uh, I worked for a family farm. Okay. And. I just needed a way to get the sand out of the pivot, so I just come up with this idea one morning and put it together, and it actually worked the first time, and then I cleaned it up a little bit and thought maybe somebody else wanted to use it. And you knew you were onto something right away? Yep, yep. And when you talk to folks now that have had a chance to use this, uh, what, what's their feedback? What, what's their reaction from this? I just think it's great because they don't have to do all that work. Are you surprised when you look at this that someone didn't think of this sooner? It's kind of one of those, boy, how do we get along with this for so long uh, without having this? Yeah, I, I'm actually surprised, I guess. It's pretty simple. But. And for people that come to the booth now and you walk them through the process, you take me through that conversation. How do you explain to, to someone how it works and how it's going to help them? Um, you just... Put it on the end of your pivot. Okay. It's got a two-inch um, coupler it just hooks into. Um, and then you uh, turn your pivot on, and that's all you have to do. And um, you, the sand just gets flushed out of there, out on the ground. Your pivot pressurizes, and then it shuts. And it, that's all you have to do. And as far as I guess, saving time, saving money, uh, more efficient. I would think you could probably check all those boxes, can't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what do you think? So what, what's the biggest thing that surprised you? How how much of a difference this makes for, for people using it? Um, like, for example, like uh, someone with loot, lagoon water. You uh, there was guys that went out there every other day and and had to wear a raincoat and got covered in you know what <laughs> yeah. and and. They come to the booth and say, well, I didn't have to do any of that this year. It's great. And I got to think, how does that make you feel knowing that, hey, you know, you're, you're making a difference? Uh, and again, having been someone who's done this yourself, you realize how much this helps. It feels all right, I guess. I, I'm just helping, I guess. Where's this manufactured? Where's it put together? All in Nebraska, mostly. Um, some components are made in the Midwest still. Um, the bolts, of course, aren't, but you can't help that. Sure. <laughs> and for the most part, um, U.S., and then how, how do people get this? Um, they could go get it through their local irrigation dealer, and they can they can get it from me. So. And, and go, best way to get a hold of you, go to your website? Yep, yep. All right, well, thanks for being a part of the Spotlight video. Thank you.